we're having stories about the collapse of any sense of competency or organizational professionalism in the Secret Service. And, and we got their DEI materials, and they are astonishing. Secret Service records reveal DEI is prioritized for all agency employees in every action every day. The collective duty is to help the Secret Service build, foster, and create and inspire a workforce where diversity and inclusion is not just talked about, but demonstrated by all employees through every action every day. They're trying to highlight and promote racial and cultural and ethnic division in the agency. They've got special emphasis programs for federal women, Hispanic employment, African American, Asian Pacific Islander, persons with disabilities, disabled veterans, and American Indian Alaskan Native. So what they mean is that we are more concerned about someone's racial, ethnic, and other characteristics than anything else. That's what it means. Orwellian, isn't it? They talk about a quota for individuals with physical and mental disabilities. 12% hiring. This is a protective agency. It's a law enforcement agency. There's no discussion, as best I can tell here, that the actual job, people should be picked on merit and whether they can do the job. They're clearly placing the requirements of the job secondary to the characteristics of the personnel who are being hired. The resentment among every employee over that type of system must be terrible. We've exposed how Biden let his dogs attack the Secret Service 25 times. Nothing was done other than telling him to shut up about it. So they get abused, no one backs them up, and they're further victimized through these DEI programs that encourage racial division, strife, hatred, division, discord, complaints over nothing. And the proof is the pudding of the failing Secret Service uh, putting President Trump at risk and the president nearly being killed.